Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff from MadHazReef.com and before we jump into today's video, I want to talk about my Coral Propagation Club on the website. If you're interested, every month you get a new Coral Propagation gear in the mail and there will be exclusive training seminars and video content on MadHazReef.com uh, using that new gear that you get every month. So if you're interested, jump over to the website, click on the Coral Propagation tab at the top of the page and follow the instructions for joining and being a Mad Hatter's Reef subscriber uh, you get a discount code save five it'll save you five bucks a month on that membership so if you guys are interested jump over and check it out all right let's get into today's video so this is my old method for backgrounds on aquariums I used to just paint them on I used to use uh, leftover latex paint that or discount but the text paint that I picked up at the store and just put it on with a roller uh, it looks really good at first but it doesn't really hold up in the long run I noticed that the latex uh, will peel off and it just kind of makes a big mess so today's video is giving you a rundown on how I do backgrounds out of crayons now and it's a lot more simple basically what I do is I pick up a can of cheap spray paint at Walmart <laughs> cost about a dollar and I take newspaper I put it over the parts of the aquarium that I do not want to have any spray paint on and tape it up right here I'm basically taping up the opening to the aquarium and the front part I'm currently working on a clownfish breeding project uh, getting into that so I'm blacking out everything on the aquarium except for the front panel and they're going to be stacked uh, next to each other so they can do their thing and not be bothered by the fish in the aquarium next to them. When you get to the point of actually spray painting the glass you want to start off with a light coat and then hit whatever other part of the uh, aquarium that you're going to be painting and then work your way back to what you've already coated once and just keep doing this method over and over again until you completely black out the glass. Um, this will scratch. It's not absolutely uh, foolproof in the sense of completely blacking out. So you still have to be kind of careful the way that you handle the glass after it's completely painted. Uh, but it does hold up a lot better than my uh, previous latex paint method that I used to use. So this is the aquarium completely blacked out and little setup for the uh, clownfish that I'm going to be picking up here shortly and that's about it works really good guys if that's the way something that you're interested in using in, on your own systems that you're going to be building uh, works perfect if you're interested in checking out my clownfish breeding system uh, the build that I'm working on go ahead and click on the annotation and I want to thank you guys for watching uh, please subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys next time